Uh, new. Oh, this, this, this is what I was insinuating when I said that that previous story was kind of uh, a teaser for this one. Hmm. A new program in Canada gives doctors the option of prescribing national park visits. Hmm. So, uh, did nature come up earlier? Why? Why did I say? That this was a uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Is it moose? Was the, it the moose, moose attack? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, 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 man! Spoiler <laughs> alert. A few later in the show, man. No, it was earlier. Something came up about either doctors' prescriptions or or being outdoors. No, okay. Never mind. Somebody knows. We don't know. We're not. It's not like we're making a show or anything. Let's see what the chat says. No, it was before. It, well, it was it was a teaser. So it, it's an old article that. It's probably so not worth it now that you're going and looking for it. <laughs> Is it in a previous episode? No, it, no, it it's, was today. It, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Today. As Mo would say, no, 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 <laughs> no. It's it's really not important because we're already on to the next. But I know, but it's, just, it's not about my Bronco, is it? <laughs> it probably is. It's probably okay. Will and his Bronco in a national park. Oh, okay. Anyway, the the way this breaks down is, uh, turns out that going outdoors might be good for you. Turns out. Uh, uh -huh. heading to a national park might actually be healthy for you, Will. Turns out, mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of these national, national parks here in Canada. Mm. Tons of wilderness to explore. And apparently now, doctors are saying, hey, never mind prescribing the drugs to you. We're going to prescribe the park to you. Okay. A new program launched last month in Canada gives some doctors the option of providing patients with a free annual pass to the country's national parks as part of an effort to increase access to nature and the health benefits to be found outside. Pa are parks. Oh, parks. P-A-R-X. R-X prescription. Mm. Come on, Mo. <laughs> That's fun. That's a health fun. initiative launched by the BC Parks Foundation in 2019 partnered with Parks Canada to provide doctors across four provinces with an initial run of 100 passes that can be prescribed. The typical park prescription program allows doctors to write more general prescriptions for time spent out in nature. Two hours a week, at least 20 minutes at a time, is what parks director Dr. Melissa Lem suggests, according to The Post. Given the growing bo body of evidence that indicates nature time can improve all kinds of different physical and mental health conditions, we're hoping that our parks program not only improves patient health, but reduces costs to the healthcare system and helps to grow the number of people who are more engaged environmental advocates. Okay, so do you need a doctor to tell you to go outside? Do you need a prescription to go outside? I get it. It comes with a pass to the to the national park. So mm. there's like incentivizing it to a certain extent. But how do you feel about having the outdoors prescribed to you. You know what, dude? Like, how much time we spend in front of screens and how addicted we are, I think that this might be, like, an actual... Like, prescribe it to people. Because they need to be told. Get outside. So you go to the doctor. Doctor says, here is a pass to this national park. Right. You need to get out there this frequently. And you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's just to incentivize. Right, like the doctor can give you the pills, but you gotta take them. Pills. Well, I'm just saying. National yeah. park pills. They taste delicious, like pine needles. Mm. Exactly. Go ahead, Will. What do you have for us? Um, I think people do know that outside is good. <laughs> Fresh air is good. Nature is good. Nature is scary, Will. Um. You mean I gotta get up and go? The fact that it's uh, if it's prescribed to me, I would feel a bit offended. I'd be like, I don't get enough fresh air. But I would uh, make it part of like a habit to be healthier. I think a lot of people, a lot of uh, input from a doctor to a person could be perceived as offensive because yeah, it's but but just just because it's a sort of like a critique. It's like, hey. Sure. Hey man, you're not taking care of yourself. Like it means if you're, mm -hmm. I don't know, in suboptimal position, or if you have high blood pressure, or you're overweight, or mm -hmm. uh, whatever ailment, di uh, diabetic, or whatever. Sure. And it's if there's a a lifestyle change that could improve your outcome. Increasingly, doctors are getting more involved in 
lifestyle analysis and suggestions mm -hmm. as opposed to strictly drugs, which is cool, but it is just weird to frame it in the form of a prescription. Right. Like, you got to take this. Mm -hmm. That it's so hard for... It's it very implies, extreme. It implies to me that it's so hard for people to actually take the initiative to go outside. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people are doing it. Apparently. Yeah. Or, or not a lot. Uh, not enough. And the thing is, in Canada specifically, it gets cold half the time. Yeah. It doesn't stop me from being outdoors because of activities. But I think it does for a lot of people. So you can... That's another way you can get outdoors. Like, if you like Willie do, you just get to strap your snowboard on. Right. And he's mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. see him. He strapped a snowboard. He was at Blue Mountain. Yeah. It's weird that they limited it to 100. Oh, I guess they have to strike a deal with the national park. Well, uh, actually, I, I think that's how the program started. I think it's, it, I, think, I think they liked it. Uh, only 100 adult discovery passes, which gives holders access to more than 80 national parks, historic sites, and nature reserves, have initially been made available. Organizers plan to routinely reassess the number as the program go, grows. So, mm -hmm. however many they give out, and then they might have more to to work with in the future um it's very it's interesting i don't know but but certainly i've you know going outdoors we're we've all agreed yeah, <laughs> yeah. do more of it <coughs> go outdoors big fan